Now, here's a welcome to coaching with me letter that I want to read to you. This is usually something that goes inside a coaching welcome packet to a new client. It says, hello, client. And you would state their name there. It's got the date on it. Congratulations on your decision to take that very first step towards reaching your desired goals. For that, I'm very happy you chose me to work with you as your and enter the niche that you coach on. So thank you for choosing me to work with you as your health and fitness coach, for example. We have a lot to look forward to, much work to get done, and your goals to achieve. Let's get started. Enclosed, you will find the following documents. And I have two columns here that display the different contracts and agreements that are in this packet. One of them starts off with the welcome letter, of course, client intake form, session preparation forms, self-assessment forms, coaching agreement, role of the coach and client, the wheel of life form, goals and action form worksheets. And then on this same welcome letter, okay, about halfway down, I have a title here called instructions and helpful tips. And it goes on to say, so we both can prepare for your first coaching session. Please have the following documents completed, signed, and sent back to me before your first coaching session with me. And it states right here, there's three of them, form name, and then the action to take. So form name, number one, coaching agreement, please complete and fax or scan an email to me. Number two, coaching terms and guidelines, please complete this, scan and email it to me. And number three, the client intake form. Please complete this, fax, scan, or email it to me. If you have any questions in advance of the first session, do not hesitate to call me or email me. I look forward to our first coaching session. Hey, here's to your success, your name, coach, company name, telephone number, etc. So that's the welcome letter cover sheet that you would send to a new client. It makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. So the client intake personal intake form pretty much goes like this. Please take a moment to fill this form in. This form helps your coach to better get to know you, where you're at, and some background information that might help with developing a quick foundation for going forward. If you have any questions about something asked on this form, please contact me. When finished, either fax, scan, slash email, mail or personally deliver this completed form to your coach. So on the client personal intake form, and it's a one sheet, client name, full name, and if they got a nickname, it asks for that. Contact details, home phone number, work phone number, cell phone number, fax number if applicable, email address, address. What is the best way to contact you? Telephone, cell phone, or email? Emergency contact, phone number, just for that emergency contact if something happens. What is the best way to reach you? Telephone, cell phone, email? Emergency contact, phone number for that emergency contact for the client. Employment information, what is your occupation? Employer, for how long? Job career satisfaction, please rate one to 10. 10 equals I love it. Personal information. Date of birth, marital status, number of children, spouse's name, spouse's date of birth, name and ages of children, other important people in your life, such as friends, coworkers, other family members, customers. You know, have them jot down some of these names because they may pop up in your coaching sessions. It'd be nice to kind of know their names ahead of time. Other important events and dates in your life worth of sharing, marriage, wedding anniversary, children's birthdays, etc. And then lastly, on this client personal intake form, coaching expectations. What do you expect to get out of your coaching sessions with a personal coach or business coach? And then there are a few lines that the client can handwrite, a few notes right in there. When they're done with that form, they're going to send it to you because you want it. 
They will send it to you by fax, email, scan, etc. Now, another form that's very important, it's actually a multi-page form, but this is the client questionnaire slash self-assessment form. This form is a must fill in for the client so the coach really has a deep understanding of the client they're working with. And I'm going to go over the questions right now. Now, this is a five page document. I mentioned it was multi page, it's five pages. But it's pretty easy when you look at it. There's only about like seven to ten questions per page with a few lines to fill it in. And what would be great is to have this form online on your website. It, it could be password protected, that's fine, you know, a private page. But if someone can just see this form on your website and fill it in by typing in the information, you'll probably get a lot more out of them. You know, let's get into the questions and then you'll see what I mean. This form is the client questionnaire slash self assess slash self assessment form. So it starts off with this. Tell me something about yourself that you think I should know to coach you better. Wow, we're off to a great start. Getting coached. What influenced you in your decision to work with me as a coach? Have you ever been coached? If so, please describe the experience. What specific goals would you like to discuss, accomplish, etc. in this first three to six months of our coaching relationship? What are your long-term goals, such as one to three years going into the future? Do you have any significant commitments? What accomplishment in your life are you most proud of? What would the perfect life look like for you? What dreams have you given up on? What parts of your life are working best right now? What parts of your life are working least well? What stops you from having the life you really want to have? What or where in your life would you like to focus on first? Is there any other important information you want me to know? What is one step you could take this week that would move you closer to your goal? What do you do to recharge your batteries or give yourself a sense of optimism? What is one thing or two that is getting in your way of moving forward? What tips would you give me to help motivate you? How many hours per week do you plan to devote to accomplishing your goal? Now with me as your coach. I'm now going to the third page of this self-assessment form. Can you imagine right now how much more you would get to know that client if that client answered those questions? So far, we're just now entering page three and then four and five are coming up. So imagine how important it is before you even just say, well, you know, first say hi, hello, how are you doing? But imagine before you even get started with these clients, stick this form in front of them say hey fill this out we're not even gonna talk until you fill it out and it would be a good idea and I'm sure I'm probably gonna mention it later give this form to them ahead of time and have them fill this in and give them time give them a, give them a week you know you may you may give them a few days sure I mean somebody could probably sit down and fill this out in in a single day but honestly they really should take a couple days with it and fill it out hence the importance of the online website page that has these questions on it with the fields they just type it in type it in type it in and they can actually just leave the screen up you know if they don't turn their computer off or anything like that an alternative is to generate a PDF a PDF form now that is really great and I have those two as well I show you how to create 
take a Word document, generate a form out of it. The form can be saved to their computer. So there's the question, there's a field, they type it in, another question, another field, they type in the answer. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take a break, okay? I'm gonna save my progress, and I'm gonna come back to this later. That's actually the best way to do this, to give them a PDF. The online version is equally great because they can fill it in, fill it in, blah, 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 and then hit the submit button, and then all that information goes to you in an email, and then you can print it out. Pretty cool. And it's done at their convenience. You get it all. It's done electronically, digitally, over the web. Pretty cool. But if it's in PDF form, same kind of thing. And the client has opportunities to save the document because they're just filling it in, filling it in. And it's a PDF form. You've probably experienced this. Have you seen these PDF forms? You, you fill in the answers after answering the questions, and then you can save your work and you can come back to it later. Let's get into page three of the self-assessment questionnaire here and continue with these questions so you have an idea of all the kinds of questions you should be asking your clients anyway. Page three of the self-assessment questionnaire. What steps have you taken or will you take to accomplish your goal? Who else needs to be involved in your transition to accomplishing your goal? What else would you like me to know? If you could live five different lives, maybe of famous people, who would they be and why? What qualities in those people do you like that you'd like to learn or incorporate into your own life? Now real quick, as a side note, you can probably tell this type of survey, personal questionnaire, self-assessment form, this is for life coaching. This is for personal coaching. And I'm going through these questions because even still, this is a good format to use. If your coaching is in a different niche, maybe it's financial coaching, maybe it's health and fitness coaching, you're going to gear your questions to cater to those kinds of clients. So again, come up with a one to five page self-assessment questionnaire survey with your specific niche questions for your niche clients and run with it. To continue, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the happiest, how are you making yourself, your spouse or significant other, your children, if applicable, your employer, your customers, coworkers, and others happy? How much time do you devote each day, week, month, year to working on your own stuff and getting you closer to your dream or ideal lifestyle? What is one thing missing from your life right now? How long has it been missing? Do you want to do anything about it? Have you? Any success? Page 4. Tell me about yourself. And these questions are in the first person. I'm in a time of transition and I need to focus on what's next or else I'm going to be fill in the blank. I need to learn how to deal with money or make some. I'm fill in the blank age and still don't know what I want to do in life when I grow up. Please explain. I need to take better care of myself. Here's why and how I'd like to do just that. I want to attract a lasting relationship and or enhance my current relationship. I need help here. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm frustrated trying to blend the life I want with the career I'm in. Here are my struggles. I want to learn about me, what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. Here's where I'd like more help. I want to improve my health, specifically in these areas. I'm stuck in certain or many areas of my life. Here's where I want to stop pulling the rug out from underneath myself whenever I get close to success. Here's an example. I want to learn how to focus on my goals 
and clarify what I want. I have problems with this. Let me explain. I want to move away from concentrating on my problems to overcoming them. Here are some examples. I have been preoccupied with my work and what I want to find out and how I want to be more balanced so I can discover the rest of my life and live it to the fullest. Here's where I'm having problems. It seems like everyone else does okay and can be satisfied to go along with things the way they are. I don't know why I can't. Here's an example. I feel as though something vital is missing from my life. This is what I think I want and what I need and what I'm missing. I want to put my dreams into action, but I need help. I don't know where to start. Here's an example. Describe your support system, your personal community. These are the people that are there for you, such as family, friends, mentors, support groups, growth groups, etc. Please share those with me. And then there are some blank lines for the client to enter that information in. Do you believe in God or in the concept of a higher power? If so, describe the most useful and empowering aspects of your relationship with God. Are you now or have you ever been in counseling or therapy? If yes, please explain. Do you have any insecurities about coaching? If so, what are they? Is there anything else that would be helpful for me to know as your coach? Are you ready to get started coaching with me? How excited are you to get started? And that's it. Five pages of personal questionnaire, questions, answers, excavating archaeology of the emotions of the mind. And then at the bottom of the fifth page, there's some instructions that say, please send your coach this questionnaire slash self-assessment via fax, email, mail, or delivered in person at least three days before your first session. So looking back on those questions, what do you think about those questions? It's a lot of good information. Depending on your niche for your coaching sessions and packages and programs, create your own self-assessment form, your own questionnaire based on what it is you're coaching on. Make it pretty thorough, you know, at least two to three pages minimum. And, you know, depending on the topics you're covering, I guess you could go to 10 pages, but you get the point. I think you get the idea here. And that's to extract out of your client data and information that you can use to better coach them.